How to write the research environment. Step number one. Introduce the research lookup. Example. The place where the study was conducted plays a crucial role in shaping the outcome of research. In this case, the research was carried out in a bustling American metropolis, characterized by a diverse population with a significant number of young adults who are avid users of social media. Step number two. Explain the reason for the selection of the research locale. Example. The reason for selecting this particular locale was because it accurately reflects the realities of contemporary city living, where social media usage is pervasive among young people. This setting is ideal for examining the correlation between social media use, self-compassion, and self-esteem. Step number three, describe the specific location of the data collection. Example, the data was collected primarily from a college campus focusing on high traffic areas such as the student center and the campus library. These places are popular among young adults for accessing social media platforms, making them ideal spots for gathering relevant data. Step number four, highlight the limitation and constraints of the research locale. Example, it is important to note that the research locale's geographical scope may present certain limitations and constraints that can affect the study's outcomes. For instance, sampling bias is a possibility and the result may not be generalizable to populations outside of this metropolitan area. Cultural differences in young people's beliefs about self-compassion and social media usage habits may also affect how the results are interpreted. So this is how your research locale would look like when, once you combine them in your research paper. There you go. That is how you write the research locale. If you have questions, comment it down below. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe. Thank you for watching, Makawai's researchers.